Word is, you're the guy who paid to kill Derek Labor. The guy who won his last fight in the arena a few days ago. Fuck you! Who the hell you think you are coming in here like this, prick? How about we teach you a lesson in manners? How about that, boys? <laughs> Word is, you're the guy who paid to kill Derek. Fuck you! Who the hell you think you are coming in here like this? who shot Derek. And who sent you to do it? I... Shit, it was that fucking guard who watches over the fights. He wanted Derek gone. I, I don't know why, so don't ask. I just took what he paid, and I did what he asked, all right? Yeah, all right. An honest killer. What'll they think of next? Later. Can't go through here.
I have two witnesses telling me you're behind Derek Labor's death. Why'd you do it? Shit. Why did I do it? You know how much that little bitch cost me in serum? Thomas the last was supposed to go down in the last fight. But no. He decided he needed to follow the rules. Being a pathetic Labor who started winning fights swelled his head. A little arrogance goes a long way in the arena. <laughs> you get hurt outside of it, though. He was supposed to lose. He did it. That hurt me really. So, I made an example of him to other fighters who think they can think for themselves, too. You're under arrest for the murder of Derek Labor. Yes, yeah, sure. You and what army officer? Get out of here. Miss, I don't... There's no easy way to say this, but I found your fiancé's body. The Vori killed him over some rigged bets. No. No. No! Derek! I arrested the man responsible. He's in jail now. And that doesn't bring Derek back, but at least the guy who did it will pay. Thank you, officer. I... Thank you.
I'm sorry, I need more time to gather some more evidence. Can you please give me more time? Thank you. You came. Thank you. Let's get going as soon as possible. All right. Let's go. down this road. We're gonna be ambushed. Please, let's go back. I'm not going any further. Please, let's go back. I'm not going any further. almost impossible to go through the underworks without bumping into one of those monsters. Yeah, the guards aren't working overtime to get rid of them either. Almost got caught by a school of jellyfish the other day. Didn't think the score was worth more than my life, so I hid. I've seen one of those filthy creatures from a distance. Heard they're poisonous. I came face to face with a locust once. Never ran so fast in my entire life. When there's one, there's bound to be many. Lieutenant? Soldier, listen up. This merchant's got intel about the mob's trafficking, so he's under the protection of abundance. Take care of him, and make sure he gets his documents to the head investigator. Yes, sir! Thank you, officer! Thank you! Thank you! I thought I was gonna die! Thank you!
Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? I went to a friend for a solution to our antidote problem, and he found one. That's the kind of good news you don't get every day. You could stop a hundred terrorist attacks and still not save as many lives as you have with that antidote, Lieutenant. You already back, Lieutenant Zachariah? I found a young woman who had completely lost her memory. She was in the Vori's hands. If the information I gathered is correct, she's a former member, perhaps even the head of some kind of criminal group. I thought it was best to warn you so you can send a squad in to detain her. You can find her being watched over by some foreign merchants in the exchange quarter. Quite the coincidence. I'm not even gonna ask how you got mixed up with the Vori. But if it helps to clean up the streets, I'm happy to be ignorant. Hey there, Fiorello. Ah, the one, the only, Zachariah Manser. A pleasure as always. What brings you here this fine day? I found out where the girl's from. That is great, great news. Not for her, unfortunately. Turns out she was part of a female gang trying to come together as a rival to Anton Rogue's outfit. Fight barely lasted a round, but... <sighs> Clearly it annoyed Anton enough to have one of them kidnapped and tortured to send a message. So what happens to her now? Guards are coming to arrest her. Even if she's got amnesia, she was a pretty high-ranking member of the gang. They've been looking for her. After she serves her time, whatever happens will be up to her. Ah, can't pretend it doesn't make me sad. Picturing her in prison. But you did what you needed to do. It is your job, after all. Here, take this, for your time. I hate to risk exploiting your kindness, but if I may. Go on. Since our little misadventure the other day, I'm always looking over my shoulder, feeling that those mob types are breathing down my neck, fearing I'm less protected than I ought to be. Then you want bodyguards. In a sense. But understanding that no ordinary citizen of abundance would suffice, and that such a task for you would be an insult, I was thinking that perhaps a strong mutant might do the trick. Word goes around that one might be able to make such an acquisition from the mutant pen in the slums. If you might make the trip for me, I could compensate you for the price of both the mutant and your time. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Again, thank you.